Times are tough at the moment. We have to save money and we can't afford for luxury things like going out for takeaway or cooking expensive and intricate meals. So I thought I'd bring back an old classic. One that you probably won't find in a five star hotel or at any fancy schmancy dinner parties, but trust me, your family will love it. It's Shepherd's Pie. I'm the one pot chef. <laughs> Okay, shepherd's pie, real easy to do. First of all, we've got some garlic infused olive oil in our pot, which I've just nice and heated up. To that, we're going to add one small onion, finely chopped. I'm cheating, I'm using, ooh, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. I'm cheating and using rehydrated onion flakes, but feel free to use a fresh onion. I just didn't have one today. So, let that sizzle up in the pan. And to that, we're going to add 500 grams of beef mince, or gram beef as you Americans will call it. Now, purists will say this isn't shepherd's pie, this is cottage pie, because I'm using beef instead of lamb, which is the traditional one. But, long story short is, it's much cheaper to use beef than it is to use lamb, because it's about twice the price. And I just don't think it has as much flavour. So, we're just going to brown this meat. Our meat is nice browned there, as you can see. Oh, there's a lot of steam. So to that we're going to add one cup of beef stock. That just helps to give it a bit more liquidity because basically what we're making is savoury mince with gravy in it. And it comes out a bit too dry if there's not a little bit of liquid in it. So just a cup of beef stock will do. Um, you can use stock cubes or powdered stock or real stock if you've got it, whatever you like. So to that, we're also going to add a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Big splash. <laughs> and a good squirt of tomato sauce. Tomato ketchup for you Americans. Whatever you like. You could also use tomato paste if you want, but I think tomato sauce is good. It's got a bit of sugar to it, so adds a slight sweetness. Give it a bit of a stir. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, get in there. There we go. I wish you could smell this at home. This smells absolutely fantastic. And we're also going to add a couple of teaspoons of gravy powder, instant gravy powder. That's just basically going to help us thicken this. We've got that lovely sort of meaty gravy to it. Oh, we're just going to turn that down and let that simmer until it started to nice and thicken up. And then we'll be able to transfer it to our dish. Right, there's our savoury mince. It's all nice and finished there. Lovely chunky and gravy. Yum, yum, yum. So I'm just going to put this into our baking dish. Lovely. This looks very good. There we go. And all you need to do is just pat it down so it's nice and even. And just allow that to sit on the side to cool for a while while we make our mashed potato. Right, time to make our mashed potato. Now that's just a kilo of potatoes which I've peeled, chopped and boiled. Now all I've got to do is Give a mash with a masher. You don't have to absolutely pulverise it, just get the big lumps out. We're just going to add some margarine to that, about a tablespoon. Nothing too crazy. And just quickly mix it in. I'll use a wooden spoon for that, I think. Make it a bit easier. Smells yummy already. Look at that. For those of you out there who are interested, I've got an audience at the moment. The amazing Miss T is sitting in the background watching as I do this. Those of you who remember Miss T from the Bailey's Irish Cream video where she was our official taste tester of the One Pot Chef Show. Hey. 
There she is. <laughs> there we go. Now, just to add a little bit of flavour to this, because it's already got a lot of flavour, but I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Now this is just that pre-grated stuff that you put on your the spaghetti bolognese. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, you don't have to grate anything for yourself. It just adds a little bit of extra to it. There we go. Now we're ready to top our shepherd's pie. Now you've just got to put little globs onto the shepherd's pie there. And we've topped our shepherd's pie with the mash. Now just grabbing a fork, just going to be scoring the mashed potato on top, like that. This isn't just for decoration, but this actually helps the potato to crisp up on top when you put it into the oven. There's nothing better than that nice crispy potato top. There we go. That's looking very good. You see a bit of the gravy poking through, that's just makes it a bit extra tasty. Now that just goes straight into an oven 180 degrees for about 20 minutes until it's golden brown on top and serve with your favourite veggies. And there we have our completed shepherd's pie, fresh out of the oven, hot, steamy and delicious. You can see that lovely gravy meat underneath and that fluffy yellow mashed potato nice and golden on top. Absolutely delicious. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to email me at onepotchef at hotmail.com. You can catch me on Skype. There's a link on the channel page. And until next time, see you later.